Well, welcome back. I'm Justin, and this is the CNR Collector Channel. And um, today I'm going to be going over something that uh, I had to make some time for. As you guys noticed, I uh, haven't been uh, uploading uh, very many videos recently, and that's because I've got a line of other things. One of them sitting right here um, waiting to be worked on and uh, a whole bunch of stuff to get caught up with. So uh guns have kind of taken a back seat for a minute but i wanted to share with you guys uh something that i picked up recently and uh am excited to dig into all right well here it is as the description says this is a cmp time capsule this is as they were shipped in Let's see, uh, 2002. So in 2002, this was shipped to Washington. And uh, when I looked up the address, which is on the original uh, FedEx sticker right here, when I looked up the address, and I'll, th I'll throw some pictures in here, uh, I was kind of surprised. And... Um, and curious what, what what had happened and uh, how I ended up getting this. Now, I didn't get this from a person in Washington, so it had gone through probably another sale. Um, but it was still in the original box. It has the original serial number over here on the label. And uh, I'm assuming probably part of an estate sale because we've got... Uh, Snohomish County with a case number and everything else. So um, uh, your guess is as good as mine. Probably some type of um, um, state uh, state sale or um, maybe maybe stolen property or something like that. Who knows? But a uh, funky evidence sticker right here and the original FedEx sticker on the side. Now, of course, I've already opened this. And the individual I got it from, uh, I was interested to see what the bore would look like. Um, so the individual I purchased this from, he did clean the bore out. But other than that, pretty much untouched. Um, so let's take a look. I believe this is the original... Uh, packing foam on the bottom because um, when I originally pulled it out there were uh, bugs and uh, moths and um, all kinds of crazy stuff inside this box. Uh, the person I bought it from wrapped it up real nice and, and bubble wrap and stuff like that. So let's take a look. All right guys, well here it is. The Springfield 1903 and we're going to kind of go over some basics on it uh, just to inform you what we're actually looking at. This is not going to be a complete breakdown video. I probably will do a complete breakdown video later. Everything in pretty good condition, as you can see. Uh, that glossy appearance is a ton of cosmoline. Uh, anybody f familiar with cosmoline and uh, oily firearms, you'll be able to see um, all this oil leaking out. It's been kind of warm in the garage and it's been sitting out here for a little bit. But um, overall, looks pretty darn good. All right, so right off the bat, what is this thing? So, of course, uh, model 1903, and we can see by this uh, finish that it has been re arsenal at some point. Uh, originally, these would be blued, this one is all parkerized. By the serial number date, this was made in uh, 1904. So, this would have been one of the original um, rod bayonet 
converted to the 1905 blade bayonet. And uh, we can see on the barrel, barrel date, uh, you got the Springfield Armory, and then you got the barrel date of 05. So uh, on top of being a conversion for the uh, 05 bayonet, this may also be, once we get the stock off and everything, uh, this is probably also a barrel that was chambered in the 3003 rather than 30 out six. So, um, so that'll be kind of cool too. So this is kind of the, that transitional 1903, um, at least receiver and barrel. There are a lot of replacement parts on it. Um, looking through, uh, a lot of things have been updated. The bolt has all been updated. Um, Looking at the front, I don't know if I can get you guys a good picture of it or not, but uh, let's see. There's a Rock Island stamp on here. So um, the biggest thing I've noticed about this rifle is that it's completely covered in Cosmoline. And uh, the previous owner ran a patch through and said the bore was absolutely full of this stuff and the bore is really good on this rifle. Um, and for those that may be wondering, I do plan on taking this to the range. Um, do your own research. If you know anything about O3s, you know all the folklore about um, low numbers and high numbers. I'm not gonna get into that in this video. I may visit it later, uh, let's see, with the help of a friend, right? But, um, but that's for another time. You can do a whole video just on that one subject. Um, but where would this come from in uh, 2002? How, why would the CMP have a completely cosmoleaned up 1903? That's the question, right? Well, the big clue is the serial number on top of the ball handle. You can see that this has been ground down. There's no green parkerization left, and it's been electro penciled. Uh, what this is indicative of is a Greek return. This rifle also has a B stamp on the floor plate, which was done by the Greeks when they pinned the floor plate closed. So let's take a minute and talk about how Greece ended up with these weapons and how they came back into the United States. After World War II, uh, there was a power struggle in Greece and a uh, civil war broke out in 1946. Uh, Britain supported them until 1947 and then they were no longer able to do so. President Truman stepped in and wanted to provide aid to Greece and Turkey to prevent the spread of communism um, via the Soviets. This is called the Truman Doctrine. Uh, Greece received several different forms of aid, one of them being um, these rifles. In 2001, the CMP received these rifles back, totaling 47,000. And in 2002, they started selling them uh, at the discounted price of $400. I believe the regular O3s were selling for five or 550. Now let's get back to the rifle. All right, here we go. So this barrel is pretty darn good. You can see this is my gauge here. So that's three zero 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 three zero zero five three zero one. And on and on and on and on. So, if we place this into the bore, so we can get the numbers out there. There we go. So that's, and then it stops at one five. So it's between three zero one and three zero one five. 
which is pretty darn good. All right, guys. Well, there you go. That is the uh, Cosmoline soaked 1904 produced Springfield 1903. Uh, I can't wait to dive into this more. I will be cleaning it up, uh, getting the old mineral spirits out and uh, picking this thing apart. Uh, let me know in the comments below if uh, you guys are interested in seeing that video. Um, I can make it one all by itself, kind of make it a how-to. Um, or I can just throw it in with the um, parts breakdown video, which is going to be a whole lot like that, uh, the 1911 CMP 1911 video. So um, after all that's done, we're definitely going to take this out to the range. We'll do an expected accuracy and uh, maybe we'll do like a 03A3 comparison or something along those lines. So let me, uh, let me know what you guys are interested in seeing. And uh, we may even cover the taboo subject of shooting low numbered, serial numbered uh, O3s. We'll see. I feel like that horse has been uh, beat up pretty bad anyway. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just supposed to be a brief overview. I was just excited to see uh, this come in and I uh, wanted to share it with you guys. And I uh, well, hope to see you uh, next time.